I believe it's time for story time, and Brother Dennis has it for us today. And 
they, they put their clothes back on, and we better get going, it's going to get late, because they already knew it's going to be really close to sundown before they got home. And they got out, and they started around this big tree stump, and they came face to face with something that really scared them. I mean, they wished it was a mountain lion, or a bear, or a snake, or a lizard, or something. But no, it was a horse. It was a worse, worse kind of horse. It was a dead horse. And you know what? It was laying right in the middle of the stream. And the, now that they're on the other side, the, the warm, warm air from the valley had been coming up the mountain, so they never smelled it. Now they did. And it was, should we say it wasn't roses? Uh, it was nasty. And they looked at that, and they, they looked at their canteens, and they had filled their tummies with cold water, or they'd eaten their sandwich. And, they, and Joe, he was, you know, he was 12, he was older. And he goes, we better get home before we get really, really sick. And he, they started running back down the mountain. They dumped out the water in the canteen, but they couldn't refill it, because they had all this stuff in it. And because that horse had been dead for two or three weeks, and so the water was not running over the horse, it's kind of running through the horse. And they had it out down and running fast. They, they didn't care about the snakes, they didn't care about the poison ivy, they didn't care about anything. They needed to get home before they got sick. And they ran and ran, pushed and sent get scratched up and they finally got home and they burst through the door and their mom goes, Wow, oh, you're home early. And they, they said, they told them what happened. I don't know if you've ever had a hip attack. You know, it kind of makes you throw up. Well, that's what they got. And then the stomach really hurt and they got a nice bath with lots of soap. And you know what? God protected them because they did not get sick. They didn't get the sniffles from the cold up there. They didn't get anything. They didn't get any rashes. Nothing. God protected them completely. Now I tell you that because God gives us His offered us good water, living water, water that we can drink as much of, and we won't even get thirsty after we drink it. We'll just like it so well that we want more of it. And that's what God gives us. But that water, He gives it to you, and it's absolutely free. You don't have to climb halfway up a mountain to get it. It doesn't. It isn't filtered through a horse or anything. It's just a good water, and that water is the Holy Spirit. It's His love. It's His grace. It's all the good things of life that He offers us. I want you to remember that. And don't. And then for all of everything I said, because we're gonna have. A fellowship lunch afterwards. <laughs> <laughs>